This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this disintegration effect using GIMP and at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and we will get started here in GIMP and um, to get started you're going to need this image here. I'll have the image linked in the description of the video so just go ahead and save that image then open it up with GIMP and then you should be starting out with this menu here. So, uh, and by the way, I like to work with, um, oops, I like to work with the uh, window set to, I like to go to Windows single window mode. So if you're wondering why it is that mine looks like that, you can just go ahead and click on Windows single window mode, or you could just leave it as three panels as it comes in the default. So, so the first thing we want to do here in GIMP is I want to make these colors pop a little more. If you notice in the thumbnail, the colors look a little, uh, look a little sharper. So to do that, I'm just going to go to, um, I'll go to filters, I'll go to colors and levels. And when we get this levels menu here under the input levels, there's going to be this little arrow to the bottom left. You can just pull that to the right. And if you know, you can notice the color sharpening while you do that. And I'm going to take this arrow to the right over here and bring that to the left a little bit to balance that out. And I think that looks a little bit better. If you uncheck this preview uh, box right here, you can see what it looked like previously. And if you notice, there's a this little bit of a difference there. I just I just like how those colors look better. So we'll leave it like that for this tutorial. Go ahead and click OK to finalize that. And what I want to do now is come over to this layer, right click that, and go to Duplicate Layer. And then I want to click on this little eyeball icon right here to turn that layer off, just to turn off the visi visibility for now. Then we'll come over to this layer right here, the original one, click on that, then we'll go to Filters, Distorts, and Eye Warp. And in the Eye Warp panel, we're just going to click and drag on these little parts right here, just to drag the image, just to drag the woman's hair, and her, and uh, just, just to drag her appearance outward like that. If you notice what I'm doing here, I'm clicking and dragging this and pulling everything out. I want to pull this like towards more towards the edge of the white uh, border inside of it. So just go ahead and click and drag and just, this may take you a minute or so. Click and drag and bring that out. I'll bring the face in a little more as well. Bring that out down there, and that should be that should be pretty good. We can go ahead and click OK to finalize that, and then we have that set. What we could do now is turn this eye, we turn this layer visibility back on right here. And then we'll click on this layer, and we want to grab the paintbrush tool, which is over here, and we want to come down here and pick the brush that's called um, this one right here, Splats Splats O2. If you come down to the bottom, you'll click on it, it'll say the name right there, Splatso 2. That's the brush we want. And the size, we want to bring the size of that up to about 300. So I'll just raise that size to about 300. That's pretty good. And for the color, we want this to be white. Let me just uh, click, uh, it's going to be black by default. I'm just going to click this little arrow to switch it so that it's white now is the four color. And uh, actually, you know what? I want this brush to be a little smaller. I'm just going to shrink this down. I'm just, you, you could hold the, you could use the bracket keys to shrink and enlarge them, or you just come over here to this arrow and click down like that. I'll start with maybe, um, maybe a little smaller, about 140. That works pretty good. And I'm just going to click and drag to put white paint around the edge of her, uh, of her hair, like that. And I'll come down here, I'll click and drag as well to do that again. And I'll do this one more layer right up, right through here, like that. And I want to come through the center and do another one again. And then when we get towards the edge, we want to basically erase the edge. We don't want to see any kind of line there. We don't want to see any kind of edge or border. We want it to kind of just fade into the white uh, specks there, like that. That uh, looks pretty good as it is. So. We'll leave that as it is. That looks pretty good. That's a good start. 
and we're going to right click on this layer and go to add layer mask and uh, we want to use white and go ahead and click add and what we want to do now is switch this brush switch it back over to black and uh, then now we want to make this brush about 300 so I'll just click and drag this up to about 300 302 that's pretty good and we want to come around the outside here and just click and drag like that and then come up here a little bit as well and this is using the layer beneath it when we do that that's why we created that eye warp layer down there and that creates the effect it creates kinda of like the uh, the illusion that her uh, head is disintegrating and breaking away into pieces so uh, let me make this brush a little smaller now maybe a hundred and I'll just put a few smaller pieces in there just to give it some depth that's pretty good we can leave that how it is so uh, the next step would now to put uh, to put these cracks in the face where it makes it look like the, the face is like cracking into pieces so to do that I'll have another image linked in the description of the video go ahead and download that and that image is right here I'm just gonna click and drag that into GIMP and there that is we're gonna go to the uh, rotation tool which is over here and then click on that and just rotate it around so it's uh, going vertically like that go ahead and click rotate to finalize that and uh, what we want to do now is go to um, colors and levels uh, actually no not levels I'm sorry we close out of that we'll go to colors uh, threshold and it's going to strip everything down to black and white and what we want to do is get rid of we want to try to get rid of those black those tiny little black specks in there we want to get rid of those as much as possible so I'm going to move this to the right no that doesn't work I'll move this to the left okay that works better move that to the left I'll move this one to the left actually no um, that looks pretty good right there 81 and 255 that should work alright now we'll go ahead and click OK to finalize that and let me zoom back out to zoom in and out I'm holding control and rolling up and down on the mouse wheel just like we do in Inkscape so uh, what we want to do now is get rid of all of the white inside of there so we'll come over here to this uh, select by color tool and then click on a segment of that image that's white and it's going to select everything that's white and then you can just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it and now you can go to select none and what we want to do now is go to colors um, where is it invert to make that white and now we can go to the scale tool which is over here and then click on that image and then just hold control and grab one of these corners and scale that down let me move this over to the center over here we want it to be a little bit bigger than her face that's pretty good right there go ahead and click scale and there we have the cracks in the face but we need to eliminate some of those as you see here I only have them going through like half of her face because this is the half that's breaking away into pieces and this half hasn't yet done that so we're gonna eliminate the right side of those over here so to do that we're gonna add another layer, layer mask we'll right click that and go to uh, add layer mask we want a white full opacity go ahead and click add and we want to go back to our brush and for this brush we want to use this one right here which is um, hardness 075 and uh, let me zoom in on this a little bit I want to make this brush a little smaller I'm just holding down the bracket key to make that smaller or like previously over here the size is over here I just find it easy to use the bracket key and we just want to go ahead and eliminate the white areas where like they shouldn't be where it doesn't make sense for them to be like over here we'll get rid of that get rid of that remove it from her hair um, come over here I'll get rid of those and like like I said earlier we wanted just to have it on the left half over here so I'm gonna delete I'm gonna erase everything on the right half I'm gonna get rid of this I'll get rid of that I'll actually remove it from her lip remove this remove that go ahead and erase everything and the reason why we're using layer mask instead of the erase tool is that it allows us to go back and correct if we make a mistake like let's say for example I accidentally erase that well, what I could do is I could switch the brush back to uh, white and just paint that back in like that so that's really useful so we'll switch back to black 
and we'll continue erasing this area. Erase all of that, erase all of that. And I'll get rid of this over here. I'll get rid of that. And then I'll press one on the keyboard to zoom back out. I'll zoom out a little more. Let me zoom in. Let me remove that from her eye. I'm gonna shrink that brush down. Remove the whiteness, uh, the white cracks from her eye. Let me get that out of there. Let me see what else. Uh, I think that should be pretty good. I'll get rid of that. And we'll just uh, click on that layer so we can get a full view. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create the uh, disintegration effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.